everyone. I am back with a huge haul. <laughs> I went and checked my uh, DG, the one that I get lots of goodies from. They haven't had much lately, and then so I gave it a couple days, and I went back. That persistence again, and it was full. The very first things I seen were these bags of dog food, and I will get to those. But uh, first, I'm gonna start down here. I had already started grabbing stuff out of the dumpster before I realized uh, I should be recording. And when I grabbed my phone, there's a Goodwill next door to this uh, to this DG, and the employees came out and were digging through the. Sorry about the noise again, but uh, the employees were digging through the donation boxes for things, and uh, eventually they kind of noticed I was there and went back inside. And then a sheriff rolled by and he didn't stop or anything. He just kind of pulled off over into a shady spot. I think maybe he was going to go eat his lunch, but he didn't bother me at all. I actually thought it was rather nice to have a sheriff sitting right there to watch my back. <laughs> so, but I'll start at this end. It's all on the ground, so it might be bad footage, but there were uh, two bags of Epsom salt in there. They both just have a... Uh, tear in them. That's why they're in these bags. You can see it leaked out a little. One is the Dr. Teal's and one is Oh, this one's for your plants. I did not know that you could put Epsom salt in your plants. So I'll have to look into that. And then there was a pack of training pants in there. Ripped open. I'm not sure if they're all there. It does look like they are. So I'll see about that. Another pack of these uh, to-go containers. So, you remember a while back I found that whole box full of them. They must have missed one. And then there were uh, two of these deep cleaning pad refills for, like, your Swiffer. Um, they look like they're the ones for, like, the wet jet. So, I'll check it out. That's the Swiffer that I have is the wet jet. So, and then from there, there was a brand new thing of deodorant. Some of this liquid collagen. i never heard of it before. It's for your skin. A bottle of ibuprofen, which is nice. I take ibuprofen at least once a week. So uh, there was some allergy relief tablets in there and some daytime, nighttime cold and flu. And then there was a lipstick. If it'll focus. A lipstick in there. And there were two packs of these Neutrogena makeup remover towelettes. Um, I was almost going to buy these the other day, so that's pretty good find that they were in there. And there was a pack of these everyday liners. 108 of them in there. Just the box was torn open there. So that's a good score. And then there was a thing of Fabuloso. I think the lid is a little messed up on it. A thing of Ajax. There was two of these things of bleach. The other one was mashed up pretty good, so I'm thinking that's why this one was thrown, because it's not leaking. Uh, so I think the other one leaked on it. So it had more bleach. These uh, crystals, they're like uh, scent boosters for your laundry. There was a jug of laundry soap in there. It's a little yucky, because it was on the very bottom of the dumpster. There were three bottles of Dawn dish soap this one leaked onto the other two, so they threw all three of them away. And this big squishy ball was in there. I'm not sure why exactly. It's I don't think it's a penny item. So hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. I had to go and grab one more thing I forgot. Uh, I had taken it around back to rinse it off because it also got a bit of dumpster juice on it. So, but I brought it back and I'll show you guys that in a minute. But there was uh, about a half a case of this Dr. Topper in there. So, most of them look fine. There's one right there that's done it up a little bit. But I'll try them out. I love Dr. Pepper here in this house. And there was a big, heavy solar light in there. Uh, hopefully it's just that the tag was missing on it and that it still works. There was one can of 
fancy feast cat food, which is what my mom used to always feed her cats. It says expires May 2022. So that's pretty cool. There was a bag of Tidy Cats cat litter. The bag was open here at the top, but my sister, one of my sisters can use that for their cats. And there was a whole case of these planters, salted cashews. Uh, it says May 2020. I'm going to try them out. I love cashews, so I'm sure they're so good. Next was this. Sorry, most of the stuff is upside down. It's because the bottom of the bags are ripped and I don't want it to spill out everywhere. But next is this container mix. It's a bag of dirt for containers, which I have lots of container plants. You can see one right there. <laughs> um, and we'll move down here is, these are magnets. I'm thinking for your car or your fridge or whatever. And they are Michigan magnets. There were two bags of this charcoal, which nothing is wrong with these bags at all. They're not ripped or torn or anything. So I will use those for my barbecue. And then, like I said, the first thing I seen when I opened up the lid was a bunch of bags of dog food. So there were two bags of this kibbles and bits. Oh, I guess that one's a little bit different. Or maybe that's the back side of the bag. I'm not sure. Probably the back side of it. Um, they are both just torn at the top. And then there was another one of these Nature's Menu, the Mossy Oak dog food. Uh, my dog uh, can't eat any of this, but my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law both have dogs, so they will take this. And then there were this, uh, it's like an air conditioner, refrigerant. I found one of these before and I gave it to my brother-in-law. He's a mechanic and I gave him the top that goes on there, so I'll give him this one too. And there were two jugs of this CLR. They're both about half empty. They were leaking. But I can use those. And there was some garbage bags. We always love finding garbage bags. Uh, the box was nasty. I threw it away. Because uh, that leaked onto the box for the garbage bags. And then there was all of this gum. That's so much gum. Uh, and then these Warhead Sour Booms. My son loves warheads, anything sour, he loves it. So I'll give him those, and my other son actually loves gum. So he has plenty of gum now. And then there was this slip inside. It says returned bad, but it's still sealed. And I opened up the one side just to see if maybe they had retaped it, but it looks like it's still folded in there the way it came. So somebody probably bought it and then just changed their mind on it. So that's pretty cool. I'll try it out. My boys are excited. They're having a, a bonfire with their friends tonight. So maybe I'll set that up for them. And there was a pack of boys, size large socks in there. Looks like maybe one pair was missing. The bag got uh, the cleaner on it as well. So you can see it on there, but I threw away the bag already. And of course I'm gonna wash these. And there was this little cute, uh, I think maybe it was supposed to be like a keychain pouch, but it's a little change purse. It's glittery and it's cute. And there was a sports bra in there. Said damage returned. I don't see anything wrong with it at all. And there was a pair of leggings in there. Ladies leggings. I think those were probably returned with the sports bra. And then this cute little check your pockets laundry sign was in there. The clip right there that holds the jar on broke, but that's a really easy fix. And these were in there. Uh, they were bent, so they threw them all away. These are really nice. They have like a wood, well, it's supposed to be a wood base, but it's like particle board. But I just bent them back into shape, and put some candles in it, and they'll be so cute. And this welcome sign was in there. You can see it's broken, but I can take this welcome part off of here and use it for something and possibly even use the two boards that aren't broken to make something else and then I looked in this was close to the bottom and I thought oh man Cynthia has been finding so many uh, fans lately and I hadn't found a single fan so Cynthia over at diving with purpose this one's for you I found a brand new box fan it just says that it was returned but I already tried it out and it works great it works perfectly fine. 
so there's nothing wrong with it at all so I will be using that like I said it's been about 90 degrees here in Michigan so it's been pretty hot and then the last thing don't mind my uh, breezeway my dog laying there we just mowed yesterday so I had to move all the patio furniture on the breezeway while we mow and I got to move it back out but was this chair was on the bottom it had a little dumpster juice on it but I couldn't leave it behind brought it home hosed it down you can see it was $25 Ooh. that just came off that works fine uh, it holds up you can adjust the top there like a regular one of these uh, lounge chairs so this was a huge haul for me I filled up my back seat I filled up back of my truck because it was all in garbage bags there was some stuff in there um, like there was some bags of mini donuts in there that had the cleaner spilled on them so I threw those out because it had soaked into the paper of the bags but and good thing today's garbage day I got all that back out to the garbage before the garbage man ran <laughs> so this was my haul for today I am excited I got another good score because like I said where I usually get my scores that B.L hasn't had anything I checked them again today and their dumpster is still completely empty so we will see I have lots of good things to give to my friends and family and that is it so if you like this video hit that like button please and uh, thank you to all my subscribers if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing so I will be posting these videos as soon as I find the stuff I come home I lay it all out and I make you all the video so you're getting it as soon as I can get it up um, it's actually Thursday right now Thursday afternoon I think it's about 12 o'clock so you guys will be seeing this here soon and I will see you guys next time. Bye.